So let's see if I've got it right. When you look at a forest from above, it looks like it's just a bunch of trees. So it would be easy to say forests are trees. Yeah. When you look at humans, it's easy to say, oh, you're just humans. It turns out there are thousands of species in a forest, yeah. and there are thousands of species in us. Yeah. So we're more like a big forest, each one of us. Each of us is our own unique ecosystem with a teeming community. And the, the crazy thing to me is that unlike, well, as you might hear from Ed Wilson, Many of the tropical rainforests haven't been very well studied. The bottom of the ocean hasn't been very well studied. We still know very little about this incredible community of wild creatures that are all over us. And they're the equivalent in weight of the human brain. So if we think of them distributed, even though they're all over our skin, if we put them all together, they weigh about as much as the brain. And you're arguing we should treat them like an organ because they are a distributed organ. And they change with our you know, lifestyle like the brain. They're influenced by our parents and our behavior and the people we meet. And they essentially have the worst PR department ever. <laughs> yeah, except for the ones that kill one, you know, like anthrax, everybody, you know, that so when, sounds so really when a, cool. When a, but... a microbe goes bad, we call it a pathogen. Yeah. But when it goes good, you call it a bacteria. Yeah. And you're basically saying, look, bacteria, as long as they aren't killing us, are generally helping us. For example, we can't digest food without microbes, so they are the reason we're alive. Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah, other than that, no big deal. Nah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.